Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Very interesting um, teaching that we've been on. We started last week and I have been very humbled, honestly speaking, at the degree of impact and transformation that this has brought. Particularly, I prepare seriously for every teaching that we bring here, but sometimes God moves upon, I would say, the least likely teachings and really, really impact the lives of people. This is one of such. And um, I have received so many text messages from the part one. It ministered to so many people. It ministered comfort. It ministered grace. And it refired the passions of people again. And what a joy. Hallelujah. Let's start tonight with Psalm 75. We're looking at verse 6 and 7. Psalm 75, verse 6 and 7. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 75, 6 and 7. The Bible says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. So the subject, a change of state, and is attempting to identify where these possibilities come from. So we are not in doubt that promotion and lifting of all sorts is a possibility that exists in the dealings of God with men. But the question is where it comes from. And let's go back to verse 6. The Bible says that promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Verse 7, it says, but God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. God, it is within his power as the judge of the earth to weigh the hearts of men with respect to his agenda and find out those who are irrelevant to his dealings is within his power to put them down. And the space that that demotion is create, has created, the Bible says he can lift up another and set him up. May that person be you. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Let's look at one more scripture. First Samuel chapter 2. First Samuel chapter 2. We'll read from 6 to 10. The Lord killeth. Very bad news. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. It's interesting. The Bible doesn't tell us what he can kill. If you're on his side, is certainly not you, but, the, but it's, it's a fact that the Lord killeth. That means there are things, it's okay for some things to die, such as the diseases that plague some of these, our precious ladies. The Lord killeth, and the Lord maketh alive. Listen, it says, He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The next verse is very scary. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. If you are in doubt of this, read Matthew 25 and find out what happened to the man with one talent. To lift them out of the dunghill is enough testimony. But the Bible says he relocates them to sit among princes. It says, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he had set the world upon them. Let's read to verse 10. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. It says, for by strength, shall no man prevail verse 10 the adversaries of the lord shall be broken to pieces it says out of heaven shall he thunder upon them the lord shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king this is the part i like and exalt the horn of his anointed god is the doer of all these things the bible says that god can throw men down and he can lift men up are we together that he can pick the poor from the dunghill and set them to sit with the princes. We consider to seek to make God real to you. 
you will never be great God's way if God is still a stranger. It's not enough to know his principles. The starting point of a man's walk with God is an encounter with his person. Not his principles, his person. Are we together? You can know all the principles, but you need to know the person. Because your conviction should first be upon the integrity of a person. Not just principles. I believe in principles. Principles are important. But it is the reality of a person that strengthens your convictions over the principles he has set. So that the journey of faith is the journey that leads you to a point where you know God experientially and your conviction about him and the integrity of his word builds to the level that can guarantee you lifting. And then the second um, part that we considered is creating a track record. Many of us may need to listen to last week's message again and again. You may think you understood what I said. A track record is very, very important. When you want to employ a driver to drive your children or your wife or your husband, usually you will say someone who has five years experience. Is that true? Now, do you know that honestly, someone can be diligent in one month and learn how to drive? Do you believe that can happen? But will you still allow that person to drive your children? This is the hardest part. Listen carefully. This is the hardest part in the journey to greatness because a track record is a compendium of your consistency. Consistency in trusting God, consistency in, in applying the principles that have been taught, that you have learned, consistency in your endurance 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 the bible says to endure hardship like a faithful soldier um i was giving an example of someone who would want to employ a driver to drive your children or whatever it is usually you would require that that person would have spent at least four or five years doing that why um, do you make that kind of requirement the reason is because you believe that over that five years he's made mistakes and learned from them are we together that lots of other things have happened around and that he has gained experience enough most people want to enter realms of financial prosperity listen carefully realms of the anointing and they do not have a track record of faithfulness they do not have a track record of submission they do not have a track record of prayer. They do not have a track record of the study of the word. They do not have a track record of discipline and diligence. Greatness will never happen to a man who ignores the power of a track record. As a man of God, nobody will listen to you just because you are anointed. There must be a track record. Someone in your history must be able to recommend the hand of God upon your life that has been sustained for many years. There has to be someone in your life who can say, I know Pastor Alpha. I know Pastor Ejimi. He has been this way, consistent. Nobody will become loyal to you just because you think you have something to offer. And this applies also in business. That means that even your failure is part of the reason why you will succeed. You see that? Your failure will justify your success in the future. When you come before people and you tell them i have failed before they will trust you when you come before people and say i have never failed they are afraid of your result failure stabilizes success a man of god who has never failed will seldom appreciate the disciplines and all the constraints that come with ministry the way many people talk is a sign that they've not had a balanced growth. They have not failed. They've never known what it means or what it meant to be in a situation of embarrassment, of chaos, of failure. And, and I don't believe that God causes failure. Are we together? But that the system of growth with respect to our human nature, believe me, brothers and sisters, is such that you must taste of failure not as a person as an event before you truly become successful are we together now we we have 
let me use you we have a very wrong mindset especially in the body of christ i'm a very positive person i am a man of faith but most times when we watch people as they seek to build a track record and we see their failures their imperfections their limitations most times we create a system of antagonism around their failure did you hear god are you sure you had god for that ministry why are you failing are you sure you heard God for that business? Why are you failing? Are you sure you heard God for that relationship or that whatever it is? We have to be careful to give people a chance to fail honorably. Are we together? We have to be very careful to give people a chance to fail. Let the brother go for the meeting and pray for the sick and then they are not healed. That experience will help him to value results. The day he sees a man of God who says in Jesus' name and something happens, he will not generalize that result. Are we together? Allow the person to hold a business seminar and only five people come when he was expecting 1,000. That experience is useful for his future. Don't sympathize with people too much to rob them from having a track record. Some of you are always giving people harvest even though they are not sowing seeds. And so they, they, you have robbed them of an opportunity to see the necessity of seed time. So every time you are talking about seed time and harvest, I'm not just talking of money. Are we together? They don't pray if they are in trouble, you pray for them. So they don't see a need to build a personal intercessory ministry. Are we together? They don't give when they are broke, they come to you and you give them a harvest for a seed that has not... No, I'm not saying you shouldn't help people. But if you really want people to be great, allow failure and pain to teach them. Money is not the only thing you give. You can give prayers, you can give support. There are times you don't stop the fire. The fire purifies. It will not burn the people. Everybody say a track record. Very, very important. There are times that you will want to pray for someone and God will prohibit you. Not because God does not want that person blessed. God will tell that person, this time around it is you. I want you to taste of how it feels to spend five hours in the night when others are sleeping. You always say, pray for me and snore your way and then God wakes you up and say, no, you are praying for yourself today. And after 30 minutes, you want to sleep. Another alert with a bad news enters that forces you to be awake and you stretch and somewhere along your three and a half hours an anointing comes upon your life now one day you'll be able to tell people i was like this you see let me tell you when i look at people the basis of my respect for them is not of things we always oh, been rosy right from when we started in fact we started ministry three days we now have a music director we have choir the man laughs at you he knows that god is just comforting you before the real training starts he says you will never come and preach in his church it's not that foolish but you've been under the bridge god told you to travel somewhere you did not know assassins pursued you an angel appeared to help you he says you are a man of god you have gone through several things enough let me tell you this listen to my message knowing god experientially challenges are the valid ways to reveal god in your life you will never truly understand god until challenges reveal him to you god is a provider that only sounds like a story until you really are in a state that requires provision as a matter of life and death something about that dimension of god will be so revealed to you that even after that experience you will never go down again are we together everyone say a track record a track record is very important every ministry has a track record every great business has a track record there are certain informations that are captured in your track record your failures your tears your mistakes are we together your ignorance your endurance your passion for pursuit the pursuit of mentorship your passion for the pursuit of information all these things are part of the track record let me tell you your track record has value everything in your life will bless you tomorrow now when you pass through this season and then i discuss the next point i'm about to talk about you will see why the bible says for we know that all things everybody say all things for we know that 
all things work together for them that love the Lord and for them who are the called according to his purpose. All things. All things. The day you didn't eat in the night, all things. Are we together? The mistakes, the failures and everything. They invited you for a program and nobody was saved, nobody was healed. All things. That embarrassment, all things. The extra year, all things. The shame and the pain, the five years before admission, all things. The seven relationships that didn't work, that made you look like the worst sinner on earth, all things. The Bible says in the economy of God, nothing is wasted. He said, even the fragments, gather them, that nothing be wasted. Even the fragments, gather them, they will be useful. Are we together? When you eat food and the crumbs pour on the ground, you don't gather them to save them. You gather them to throw them. But in God's economy, it says keep them. They are still useful. Hmm. So I, I, am, I am, by this review, encouraging you to be proud of your pain. Don't hide it. We live in a, in a, in a lying community of believers who, and especially we men of God, who always want to make it look like it was rosy. Every word they gave was accurate. Everything they said was right. Everybody they prayed for was healed. It's not true. And as a man of God, of course, doesn't mean you, you be as sincere as you can with the people of God. It helps them to see the excellency of the power of God upon your humanity. Don't act in a way that discourages their journey. Let them know you cried. The Bible records the crying of Jesus. Why didn't he jump it and just say the Messiah? He healed. The Bible says Jesus was hungry. He went to eat maize on Sunday. People tried to harass him and so on and so forth. Jesus was angry. He went to a tree hungry, demanding food. Jesus wept at funerals. Are we together? Jesus almost gave up. The Bible captures all of these things. So that when he says we do not have a high priest who has not been touched. Let me tell you. I hope you know Jesus had to be a man to be qualified to be the head of the church. Because when the father looks at a man of God who has not prayed for one week, Jesus will say, I've been there. When I became a man and I took on the form of mortality, I felt the pain. What that man is going through, I have a, I have a record of that experience in my person. And so he makes intercession on ground of that track record. The reason why many people are not forgiving and never give people a chance is they are too innocent to be great. The reality, when I say they are too innocent, what I mean is that their lives, they've not been exposed to the reality of living. So you can see a man with his wife and two children just crying. I say, what is, how can they, this man is such an irresponsible man? What is he doing? And the man is doing his best. You don't have any child. All your money came from one uncle and all of that. And then one day your uncle said, I will no longer take care of you. And that's when you will know that your prayer that you thought was working was never working. It was somebody's harvest that was making you think, I pray once and the heaven hears. You will now review what you have been doing and find out that you've been wrong for five years. It's just that the mercy of God kept bringing somebody's harvest and so it makes you impatient at others. This track record let me tell you, will give you compassion. It's one of the things a track record does because you will have to face the reality of your humanity. The best of you will still stand not qualified for the level you desire. So when you get there, you can look back at people and say, Pastor, what did you say? And the pastor will say, we, we have bills right now. And you don't look at him and say, where is your faith? Shame on you. Did you listen to my message? Faith for exploits. You mean at this, you have not been following me? No. The moment the pastor talks and he's crying, you will remember your 10 years ago and fetch a story from that 10 years ago. Shame on you as a man of God if you do not have a story to help somebody rise. If you don't have a story, you are not great. Great men are great by their stories. There will always be something they will tell you. Are we together? Someone asked me one day and said, um, 
have you ever prayed and it looked like god did not answer i said don't be carried away by the fact that i'll just say there's somebody outside and someone is shaking yeah i prayed for many months under a supposed close heaven to the point that i didn't know whether it was demonic or me no most people would lie to you that no no you will pray and pray and pray and pray and you no know, people say i prayed and i had peace I, there were times i prayed i didn't have peace i didn't even know whether the prayer was answered or not it's the truth it's a track record that's why today i can know when prayer is answered because i i have experienced the confusion around answered prayer or otherwise god will never trust you with men if you have not been touched by the feelings of their infirmities and let me teach you something especially greatness in ministry let me tell you god will sample the experiences of the people you will be ministering to and force you to be a partaker of those experiences are we together you are called into the healing ministry you will find out that largely satan will attack you and god will use that experience to help you i have been sick I've had an embarrassing infirmity. So when somebody says, I have a breast lump or I have this, for other people you are laughing, but for me I move with compassion because every testimony reminds me of myself. Not my neighbor, myself. Oh, I stood here and God gave me a miracle alert of 5,000 and somebody's laugh is a 5,000 and you came to disgrace yourself here. That's because when your parents don't have money, they give you 50,000. And apologize to you for it whereas somebody was sent with 1000 naira and Gideon's international Bible the God that kept me let him keep you and the next time the mother saw that person was graduation if you ever tell that person God is not faithful he will look at you and laugh and say come and look at my life I'm a living epistle not just this God used my life to write something that is scripture for men you can look at me and read A track record many of us have been afraid of creating a track record a track record of discipline a track record of diligence Jesus wept there are times man of God you will go behind that tree and go and begin to cry and say Lord is this how the ministry will be and for the first time you will really hear God that's when you will know that most of the things you have been hearing is your mind from that day you will mark how that hearing came and that's what you will begin to look for and you will build a very fiery prophetic ministry based on the hearing that came from you your pain edited every every haziness around your seeing and hearing and brought god's voice to you are we together you need a track record in your life god will not bring one thousand members to you just because you believe you are called now the challenge with many people is we want to inherit track records you can leverage on a man's credibility but a track record cannot be inherited it is created from your daily walk with god daily walk you want to crash and cram scriptures in one month whereas someone has had a track record of many years of consistent work with god and you just cram scriptures using a software online for one month and believe that just because you are quoting it you have the same result no that person was forced to learn that scripture not to do a competition but to recite it and force pain out of his life i was told about a man of god who was diagnosed of cancer and that man of god the same way you take drugs every three three or six six hours he had scriptures he he lived literally on those scriptures the same way you have three three hours interval to religiously take drugs he began to engage that even as he was treating himself medically and now he's completely cancer free for that man when the bible says thy word have i hidden in your heart it's not just the issue of sin alone i have hidden it so that i will live you know when people sing and say i have seen the lord to me it is never a special number the song is very personal for me 
because i have truly seen the lord someone is just crying and say oh, i have seen the lord he doesn't even know he, his mind is blank because there's nothing to relate with a track record will do many things in your life a track record will bring the strength of god to your weakness your a track record will force you to need god because let me tell you man is a proud entity fallen man is proud it will take a track record to break your stony heart so that you can willfully allow god to come to a point where you say lord this is no longer about my degree if you were told that five years ago you will argue and say i'm smart so god says okay you go ahead and with the degree you move from one place to the other one day in that pain you open to the scripture that says the race is not to the swift that day now is not a preacher's sermon a track record has forced light out of that and you will kneel down and say lord i know that i did well in school but i lift up my degree and i hand over to you and in one week you will get a job that all your 10 years it's amazing that when the purpose of your track record has been established nothing stops your greatness that's the reason why what i'm teaching you tonight is very important you will listen to me if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hands if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything I need is in you. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. The nation of Israel needed that experience of the wilderness to appreciate the deliverance of God. When they saw God deliver them, that's why till today in Israel, even those who are not born again respect God. They don't believe in Him, but they respect God. Every time they pass and they see all of those historical monuments, it reminds them, ah, God. You need it. You don't just get compassion by saying, Kai, I am merciful. No. no. Something must happen in your life. And then the day you see someone with that experience, you can come and hold the person. Although the person is having body odor, you will remember that something like that happened to me and they ran away from me. And all of a sudden, I've shared with you my testimony when I, I used to have a fungal infection and you know it was terrible the students used to run away from me if 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 i bought bonds or something i would only pay for it and they would pick it if i touched it so when you see me jump at our children and love people and say how are you have you eaten you would think ah this guy is kind pain created kindness i understand rejection firsthand it's not some some american movie that taught me rejection I know what it means to be alone is the reason why the holy spirit means life to me because he was the only person who didn't run away ah. you are my everything my destiny you are my everything my destiny i love you i need I love you. I need you. You are my everything. My destiny. You see, when the Bible says, Woe unto him that puts his strength in a man. For as long as life keeps pampering you, you won't get that revelation. Until everybody is calling you king of kings. Then one day, people look at you 
in the pit and say crucify him and you look at him and you say were you not my classmate he said yes crucify him believing you will never come back to life the day you come back to life you will believe once and for all so if people look at you and say emoji the greatest man in the world you your pain will give you wisdom you have learned by experience that men are like a candle that can shine bright now and off the next moment there are many of us that the stability in our lives will not come from preaching it will come from that fullness of affliction that a track record creates the fullness of affliction that comes through the track record can impart humility on your life you see this pride that we all do eh, is not something that lives naturally something must happen in your life so that your strength fails before your eyes nobody will need to tell you in all your ways acknowledge him it's easy to say god you are the doer but the reality is that you are still proud of everything you are doing it's difficult to have results and credit it to god it's not natural there must be something you pass through that will give you that message i want to ask you a question what have you gone through that has revealed god enough and built your conviction every name that god is called in the bible came as a result of a challenge that necessitated that dimension of god to be revealed what name has your own experience given god that a generation can learn because of you a name that is not necessarily in scripture but the name is a personal name you have given God because of what you have gone through. For the things you have done and the battle you have won only you are worthy of my life. Hallelujah. Let's deal with the third point. I want us to pray. Write this down. The pain obtained from the place of failure will preserve you when you are successful. The pain that you obtain during your periods of failure will preserve you when you become successful. It is true. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, success can make men worship you. The archives of your pain can be a preacher and an advisor to you when you become successful. It's your pain that will remind you you are human. Be careful. Are we good? Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. We are discussing the harvest now. The third part is the harvest. The first is the journey of faith. Then the track record. And when you pass through this painful and most discomforting season, then you are ready for the harvest. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15. Read with me, please. It's projected. One, two, read. And so, speaking of Abraham, after he had patiently endured, did what? Obtained the promise. And Abraham, after he had created a track record for 25 years, that Lord, I still trust you obtained the promise like god said he did but not before a track record there is a season in the life of any and every man called the season of appearing is based on the law of time and chance the bible says time and chance happeneth to them all you don't have to be born again the law of time and chance is like gravity the law of time and chance is like breathing every human being that comes to this earth is entitled to the ability to breathe you don't have to be born again and then oxygen now begins to come that's how this law is Time and chance happeneth to them all. Listen, listen. It is dangerous to launch yourself before your season of appearing. There is something in the life of every man called the season of appearing. When you're profiting, now becomes evident to all. 
as a businessman as a preacher as a student as a family man as a career person as a leader the season of of your training and the track record that you create can be so painful sometimes it looks like your season of appearing will never come but i have good news for you tonight believe me according to the law of time and chance your season of appearing is coming when you look at a wall clock and it's two o'clock very soon it will be 12 o'clock but with respect to two o'clock it looks far but just be patient one second one second before you know it is four o'clock and 12 o'clock is warming up because it means that my own turn is coming i have taught you listen to my message activating seasons of favor you don't sit down and be dreaming of breakthrough you prepare for them because they will come the season of appearing will always come when you mess it up then like the hands of a clock it will go down again and sometimes before it comes your lifetime may not give that allowance again. The season of appearing. Mark chapter 4. We'll read from verse 26 to 29. Mark chapter 4. 26 to 29. And he said. This is Jesus now. So is the kingdom of God. As if a man should cast what? Talk to me please should cast seed into the ground 27 and should sleep uh-huh you see time there and rise night and day doesn't tell us how long but night and day and the seed should begin to spring and grow up and he knoweth not how 28 let's see how the tree grows it says for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself first the blade then the air after that the full corn in the air he's teaching us how growth happens in the kingdom that genuine growth starts first with the blade and evidence are we together elijah knew this and when he was praying he told the servant go and keep checking the moment the servant saw the cloud like a man's fist he knew that the result was already on it he didn't say keep watching as the cloud expands he said quickly start preparing because if I can see the blade, then the air is on the way. If I can see the air, then the full corn is on the way. Everybody say the harvest. Most people, because of our obsession for results, we do not even know how to discern when the harvest begins. Let me tell you this. If you want to see a harvest and you want to reap the harvest there is a key that i want to teach you now are you ready it's called the mystery of joy hmm. joy the bible says he that sows in tears it didn't say with reap with joy will reap in joy joy the atmosphere that causes harvests to mature and make sure that you reap from it joy the moment you begin to see the finger of god no matter how small it is an indication that the season of harvest is already unfolding after five months of loneliness in the room all of a sudden one fellowship of four people just come and approach you and say tosin um will you mind coming to take 10 minutes praise and worship and Tosin is standing he's looking at a stadium and because of that he ignores the blade that is already coming out and you use your lack of joy to kill that seed are we together now all of a sudden something happens you have prayed for five months no favor someone looks at you and says just to bless you and you see hundred naira you suffer and write down all the units and load star 555 and load everything smiling thinking is 1000 and then you see 100 and amen you just destroy that blade there is what you do with the blade to make it an ear there is what you do with the air to make it a full harvest this is what i'm teaching you let me tell you something brothers and sisters for as long as you are crying the night remains with you 
it is not the morning that makes you smile it is joy that turns night to morning it's not that you keep crying and then all of a sudden when morning comes no you begin to make it happen so this gentleman goes four people and you lead praise and worship for 10 minutes and afterwards they just look at you and carry a bottle of malt and say tosin sorry oh, this is small but he just shakes your hand like he's bribing you he drops everything let me tell you what a wise person will do he will go back and check the vision where god said you will be a worshiper taking my healing power to the nations you open that notebook and open it and say lord i may not see this now but i'm already seeing you arise and therefore if i saw the blade then i will see the ear and the full grown corn you begin to engage joy the mystery of joy are you seeing that yes all of a sudden you did not have rent and they were to throw you out and you said oh god so this is how and the landlord comes and says okay i give you two weeks and he said lord shame on you that's all you can do to add two weeks a wise person will go back and say lord it looks small but not to me i see that it has to have been your hand ah. believers are cheated because we do not understand the systems of the kingdom how many grumbling pastors remain as 10 members for five years because they do not know how to multiply things in the kingdom and they carry their anger and yell it at the 10 members you would think they are preaching in a stadium shouting in annoyance you count the offering and everything is 150 naira and you just say what will i do with 150 naira please hey, Jimmy, look at this and god says this attitude of cynicism you disqualify yourself from growth but someone will go with the wife and say lord you called us into ministry we are doing the best this is 150 naira can't pay the bills but lord we are rejoicing before you we rejoice forevermore because we know that the god who gave 150 can give 150 million and so we rejoice are we together and while you do that all of a sudden one day somebody will come into the church and sit down and just be blessed you will never know he's a big man and one day he will tell you the church he left to come to your church and even you you'll be flattered you'll be like sir what 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 happened there say nothing god just told me to come and fellowship with you sir we are seven people i hope you know this is not a unit this is the whole church he says yes i want to stay and he will attract his seven members in the family and come and one day you'll be doing your thanksgiving and he will talk and all his business partners will come and in one year that church multiplies and they will ask you man of god how did you do it will you lie that you don't know what you will say it's god but the truth is there is a story there is a story it is that story that will help someone else the purpose of the furnace of affliction and the purpose of going through a season of track record is so that you can lift others in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed not in thee shall you alone be blessed if your blessing does not affect those around you you are not blessed your blessing is not just your money your blessing is a, an outpouring of your wisdom to other people it's amazing how people come and cry to me and talk about things and and i just look at them and i feel so sad for them and i'm grateful i went through what they are crying about so that i would have something to tell them say my harvest is coming it will never come as a full-blown harvest listen 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 ladies and gentlemen learn this learn this i believe in favor i believe in breakthrough but you must learn to acknowledge the slightest move of god in your life that indicates the arrival of a harvest i remember one of my dear friends among all of us you know friends and brothers together i remember one time when um you know we used to the, the ministry used to meet in the campus their abu campus one day i was hugging someone and when i hugged the person i smiled and i told the person the name of his perfume and he was surprised <laughs> i used it for many you know there are some perfumes that oh lord have mercy oh lord have mercy you don't know whether let me let me, let me keep quiet let me not say anything because some of you you go and throw it use it use it when everybody laughs just say it's my track record my track record it's my 
track record. Hallelujah. It's my track record. Don't be afraid. Years ago, I was passing that joint where that mama makes a kara. That bend to charity and faith. You know, many of you think that we don't know all those places. You, you must be joking. You must be joking a lot. Are we together? And I don't know what took me to pass around that place. And I saw some koinonia people. And you know, they were, they were fairly men of God. God was... And ah, that, that thing, they felt embarrassed in my mind. I said, look at you people are not wise. Just because you are sitting down under that smoke. Abba. When you don't have a story of pain, you will feel guilty for being great. You will sit down and feel like you scammed people because someone will come to you and say, what do I do when it looks like God does not hear me? And say, just go and have faith and feel so bad. You know you didn't bless the person. But you can tell the person, sit down. Get a paper and a pen. Let me tell you this. This is what to do. Every time you feel like God is not answering you, praise the lord so the bible says that we should not be weary the word weary is not a bad word it's just a human word weariness is something that is part of humans are we together the, the bible says hope deferred have you read that scripture before hope deferred can make the heart weary in other words if i continue to expect expect a result expect a result expect a result the inability to obtain that result especially within my timing can sap away my energy are we together and then the bible comforts us and tells us that we should not be weary provided what we are doing is consistent with the patterns of god you are building a track record and he says for we will reap in due season if that's the condition we faint not that means man of god you will not continue to pastor two members forever a day will come there will be an avalanche of open heavens but that your pastoring members imagine if bishop oyedeko never had limitation in church growth he would never have understood the principle but for a long time he was taunted and that taunted nature made them to call a fast before god it was whilst the fast was going the lord showed him that there are forces called the gates of hell that can stop the church from growing are we together he took authority over it and think of the millions of people think of david yongi cho who came up with the system of home cell and the rest are we together it was out of his pain think of all the people who came up with experiences today that have opened the body of christ to dimensions of christ some of them it was out of their pain so let us not be weary i made up my mind and i still do listen that as far as my destiny is concerned is satan that will be tired no i have lost the ability to give up if it is if it was declared by god then i'm getting there are we together can someone join me in that prophecy tonight that as far as god declared that i'm taking the gospel to the nations then no power no charm no enchantment no as far as god told you that you will you will you will you will rise to the highest point possible then no challenge over your life your business your career should put you down listen i'm teaching you how to trivialize your current predicament and lift up your eyes he told abraham from where thou art lift up your eyes you don't move forward looking down you lift up your eyes you lift up your eyes you lift up your eyes i know what god told me in the name of jesus i will be a kingdom financier all i have is one cup of gary and one sugar but lord i give you praise i will continue to give i will continue to tithe every time i hear that there is a church doing something even if it is hundred naira i will go and drop it as kingdom financing seed and someone will say hundred naira your money does not count god is watching a track record a day will come when you will single-handedly build a church for god and you will remember and smile and say once upon a time i used to give hundred naira are we together a track record 
let's look at the life of one person and then we'll pray because god has vowed to lift us and he surely will lift us esther chapter 6 we are reading the first 11 verses now the bible talks about how many of us love the book of esther very powerful book there was no mention of a man of god in that book yet it was everything kingdom a type of christ and the church and how god lifts people the entire book of esther is one of the classic signs of how god lifts people how god lifted a village girl how god brought down another arrogant one how god took mordecai let's look at mordecai's life the bible says once upon a time men and women conspired to hurt the king and mordecai detected it and mordecai did something that the bible calls well doing but he was not rewarded i hope you know that he had the right to be offended be careful with offense it can rob you of your harvest imagine if mordecai saw the king riding on his chariots he would sit there and be angry and see her man and say her man is occupying my position oh king you would have been a dead man right now 127 provinces would have become shambles but for my well-doing but he remained there and continued to minister even when esther came he gave her the advice you know do this do that and then she went into the temple became queen and esther herself was almost forgetting about him look at the kind of pain don't just read that mordecai mordecai was a man who was so hot and embittered he helped a lady rise to become the king's wife and mordecai would expect that in two weeks they would wipe his tears but just like joseph he needed to have a track record are you seeing the consistency in how people are lifted the wine presser was helped by joseph but he forgot about him for two extra years mordecai helped esther hadassah to become queen and she left him there and she became almost unconcerned about the destiny of the jews and then when it was time for the harvest of mordecai let's see how it happened on that night could not the king sleep when men stop sleeping it may not be demonic it may be that god is walking god is working to make sure someone's season of harvest comes he says on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of the records of the chronicles that they were that they were read from before the king we're reading to verse 11 and it was found written brothers and sisters the bible says it was a chronicle of the good works of men was it only mordecai's record that was there but when it is your season of lifting for reasons that don't make sense god will arrange things to make sure you are you rise it says that mordecai had told of bigthana and teresh two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door who sought to lay hands on king ahasuerus verse 3 and the king said what honor and dignity had been done to mordecai for this do you know that if mordecai were lifted two years earlier maybe her man would not die so god had to arrange it in a way that the victory would have to be total are we together and the bible says then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing done do you know the king would have the king's servant would have lied and said they clapped for him and that would have been all look at all the forces working together what honor and dignity had been done for this man and the king said who is in the court hallelujah look at how god rubbishes enemies now her man was coming to the outer court a man was outside though but the grace to lift a man forced an enemy to enter the court he says to speak unto the king to hang mordecai are you seeing her man was planning that if the king rest small i'll finally tell him today it's time to hang that guy whereas god was using him like the princes of this world were used by god to perfect the plan of salvation are you seeing that now and the bible says to speak unto the king to hang mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared her man had prepared how mordecai would die verse five and the king's servant said to him behold her man standeth in the court and the king said let him come in six so Haman came in and the king said unto him 
what shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor now Haman thought in his heart to whom would the king delight to do honor more than myself everybody say pride shout it the bible in the scripture that we read he says god can bring down others such as Haman and Haman answered the king for the man whom the king delighted to honor comma next verse he says let the royal apparel be brought which the king used to wear and the horse that the king rided upon and the crown royal which is set upon his head verse 9 and let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one who the king's most noble princes to one of the king's most noble princes that they may array the man without whom the king delighted to honor and bring him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaim before him thus shall it be done to the man in whom the king delighted to honor ladies and gentlemen welcome to how god lifts men next verse the king said to haman make haste and take the apparel and the cause say make haste quickly make haste when it comes to the appearance it's not slow it the blade may be slow the ear may be slow but when the full-blown harvest is coming five minutes can be too much five minutes joseph started seeing the blade in the house of potiphar but it looked like the blade everything was aborted and it went down again and he started seeing the ear in the prison there because he was made the head over them but when the full-blown harvest would come in moments i perceive in my spirit someone has seen please help those outside now someone has seen the blade you probably started seeing the blade five years ago probably you have even seen the air but i perceive in my spirit that since god revealed this someone is about to enter a strange season the bible says and the king said to her man listen make haste i tell you i sense the spirit of prophecy and take the apparel and the horse listen as thou hast said and do even so to mordecai hold on the jew the Jew, the Jew, the disadvantaged, the slave, I am aware he's a Jew. By being a Jew, he shouldn't even have anything. He should be seated outside. But Mordecai, the Jew, that sister, the poor, that brother, the disadvantaged. Don't, I know he's Mephibosheth, he can't walk, but still, the favor is for him. And then he says, that seated at the king's gate he said let nothing fail since it is your enemy that suggested how you should be blessed let nothing fail verse 11 then took Haman he prepared a table before me in the presence in the presence then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed to him, Thus shall it be done unto the man that the king delighted to honor. The king, the king, any king can delight to honor a man. That means God can choose to love Jacob. God can choose to leave Joshua Selman. God can say, For I have chosen and i swear by my name listen let me tell you brothers and sisters there is nothing you can do about a man that the king has chosen to lift god can choose to lift men they may not look like it you will look at them and be angry because nothing around their life should warrant that level of honor but god will say it's a choice i am a king i can choose to lift a man and I can make it hasty. My life is a testimony that God can choose to lift a man. God can choose to lift a ministry. God can choose to lift a business. Brothers and sisters, God can look at your lineage, your village, and say what has been done to this poor family 
that even in their poverty they kept loving the lord and they said lord seven ladies in that family they are not married he said make haste create a horse a chariot of honor make haste let five of them marry in one year make haste make haste make haste that's the key word make haste it is the training that takes time the lifting is suddenly now when the day of pentecost was fully come after 40 days of waiting suddenly shagata bakatoya suddenly 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 joshua selman changes listen the bible says hear me the bible talks about the coming of christ it says in a moment in a twinkling of an eye we shall be changed in a moment my brother my sister in a moment that you are drinking gary today god will not ask you what business idea do you have there is a name god is called the lifter the lifter the lifter of men the lifter of men hallelujah the lifter of men when god wants to lift you back let me tell you you will add the if even all the laws you are practicing they won't add up they will it will be clear that this one is the finger of god listen listen when god chooses to lift you listen listen i'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables you will look left and right and your colleague is not there you know you were not supposed to be there lord what am i doing here and god said my choice my choice listen this series is not just about principles i have taught you principles i'm teaching you a prophetic dimension that god can choose to veto anything you know whether you know business or not whether you know whatever or not god can choose to lift you from where you are and carry you up let me tell you this please hear me if you don't believe in what i'm teaching you you will never be great in this life because you see the delays that have happened in our lives require a rapid lifting to catch up if you move at the pace of men your lifetime will be too slow that while you are in koinonia now god is arranging men they are discussing you what do we do to a man who loves god and all of a sudden a wealthy person who has never contacted the family from abroad will say combo i have never helped this family what needs to be done who is in school and they'll say only one lady and he said can can i can i help her ebenezer thus far has the lord helped us listen he said uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped god can help men no oh. if god does not help you you will not get a job if god does not help you you will move fast in this life this our arrogance in just what we have i have this i read this i know this thank god for them but behold a season where god is willing and ready to lift men in a way that even the men themselves they will tell you look this is i, I don't know listen this is what many people don't understand and then when they see god lifting people strangely instead of them to find out what is working they can just feel oh, they are just lucky the lifting of god is not private to just some few individuals the lifting of god is a season i told you i was preparing to preach something else last week i just lay down on my pillow and all of a sudden i saw a writing the lifter of men i know listen i may not claim i know everything about god but i told you his anointing goes where his word is the moment god sends a word the anointing is there 
let me tell you i have prayed this prophecy upon my life like no man's business lord thank you for what you are doing yesterday my entire prayer time was god help me your help is what i need if you don't believe god can help men you will suffer oh, let me tell you i don't have any uncle anywhere who will say oh you're a young man you're a ministry let's support you the lifter of men the lifter of men we are going to take 15 minutes find a corner find somewhere you, you are going to pray i want us to invoke this grace that it will land upon your life are we together in the next five to ten minutes i leave you alone with god lift your voice and blast in tongues and cry before god and say god lift me lift me i cry to you you are the lifter of men hey pata lakato shabarata hey lift me shapata kato kato labataya Zekete kata 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 barakata kata kata Zekete parakata pata Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion 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 For the time to favor her For the time to pray, pray, pray Please pray, please pray for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. Yea, the set time. Yea, the set time. Shaka pakato kata lakata. E preketo shaparakotos. Makata parato shoto prekete. Rekete kete kete. Lord, lift me spiritually. A new dimension of the anointing. A new dimension of fire. A new operation of the gift of the spirit. A new dimension of utterance. Access to deeper revelation. The lifter of men. Arabo shabarada balakata bariada balaraba shakata kata 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 Hallelujah Hallelujah We are still praying Psalm 71 verse 21 Psalm 71 verse 21 Please let's keep praying Psalm 71. I like us to read together. One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Listen. Don't just comfort me spiritually and leave me suffering financially. Don't just comfort me academically. Lord, increase my greatness. Comfort me on every side. Open your mouth and pray. Comfort me on every side. Comfort me on every side. Increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Increase my influence. Increase my impact. Increase koinonia. Increase the fire. Increase the results. Increase the testimonies. Increase the salvation. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me and comfort me. Papa Shabarakatos Nekalekateko Sodo Brakatos Ekarakoto Sodo Brakateliata Shabarianda Kaskabaharakato Shebrega de Baladaba. Pray. 
Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I want you to mention the areas where you have not yet been comforted. Lord, thank you. By God's grace, my prayer life is okay. But Lord, my finances. Or by God's grace, my finances is okay. But Lord, my ministry, my life. Don't keep quiet. Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Lord, let your comfort, let your grace. Believers, talk to the Lord. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Comfort me. Comfort me on every side. 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 Leketesh kabarakato sabaya. Comfort me. Pray for your academics. Pray for your marriage. Pray for your fruitfulness. Pray for your finances. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your spiritual life. Comfort me, oh God. Oh God of heaven, arise. Comfort me in this season. You are the lifter of men. Hallelujah. John 17 verse 1. John 17. Please be serious. Some of us are not praying. You are just looking around. It's time to pray. We are activating this thing in our lives. John chapter 17 verse 1. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is what? Talk to me, please. The hour is? Lord, not tomorrow. If you revealed it, then the hour has come. Father, the hour has come. Father, the hour has come. The hour for my lifting. The hour for my glorification. Lift your voice and pray. The hour has come to change my story. The hour has come for a harvest. I decree and declare the hour has come to silence the forces of darkness. The hour has come to lift me like a trophy. The hour has come for the helpers to appear. The hour has come for the good news to go far. Hallelujah. 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 He said the hour has come. Then he says glorify. Glorify now Joshua Selman. That he may bring glory to you. Listen. Listen. I want you to pray a very honest prayer. And say father honor me. Let your honor in this season come upon my life. And let it be evident to all. Lift your voice. Don't let the devil tell you you are, you are asking for nonsense. Everyone that asketh, receive it. Pray. Lord, your honor. Jacos Katabarata. I vow that you will be glorified. In lifting me, you will be glorified. Honor my family. Honor, honor my destiny. Honor my finances. Take away shame. Take away reproach. Take away shame. Take away reproach. Take away shame. Take away reproach.
Alleluia. Alleluia. We are praying. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray that every force, every power that is standing between Mordecai and the king, that Haman that is waiting at the court while God is preparing to bless you. The, listen, listen, listen. Look at this. Just when God was going to lift Mordecai, Haman too was at the court. They were all in the place. The lift and the destroyer, all in the same place. It's up to you to clear off the destroyer. Open your mouth and decree and declare. My enemies will not reach my helpers. In the name of Jesus, no evil report. The counsel of Ahitophel will not stop my lifters. I decree it. I declare it. I decree it. I declare it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray for our families. I don't know about you, but let me tell you something. Because of the times I've had to counsel people, truly speaking, personally, I'm tired of what Satan is doing in families. It's, it's too bad. Satan is corrupting the testimony of righteousness. You will hear that someone is serving God, doing well. But the devil will rubbish every other person in his family. Are you ready to pray? I'd like you to take on your priestly position and prophesy lifting to every one of your family members. Mention them by name. I prophesy lifting in the name of Jesus. Prophesy to your wife. Prophesy to your husband. Prophesy to your children. Prophesy to your siblings. Lord, take away shame. That proverb, Ichabod, let it no longer be used in my family. This proverb will no longer be used. In the name of Jesus Christ. This proverb will no longer be used. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. This proverb will no longer be used. It will no longer be Ichabod. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will now be Beulah. It will be Hepzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray the last prayer point and then I'll pray for you. Listen. There is a kind of anointing that can lift you above your fellows. It says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, not another person's God has anointed you not informed you, anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above Shabalakatoya above there is a grace that makes you above, listen Joseph was a slave they bought him, in ancient times they would pay for you as soon as he entered Potiphar's house there were many other slaves. They all had mothers too. But there was a grace. And they identified, even in the prison, lifted him. We are going to pray and say, Lord, the grace that makes me noticeable, the grace that stands me out. Listen, listen. Until you are noticed, 
not in a negative way you can be doing good things but the eyes that can discern you to bless you has not yet seen you lord the grace that stands me out so that my helpers can see me i cry for it to come upon me tonight lift your voice and pray Let that grace come, O God. Shabakato soto bara la da ba la ba la da da ba. Change my life. Change my ministry. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven, stable land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on high. Sing it one more time. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven save the land is Saul also among the prophets when did he get there who lifted him in Zaria lifted from there who lifted you when I know your father is not alive when I know your mother is not alive who advocated for you and you will say the lifter of men the lifter of men a lifter of men. I know him. I know him. I know him. Listen. Listen. You see, truly, brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. I don't mean to be boastful. But my life is a testimony that God can lift men. When you look at my life, the equations don't add up. But for God. God can come and meet you and say, son, daughter, I have chosen. And you say, Lord, I don't qualify. He said, that's the point. I want to lift you. I want to lift your family and you say Lord should I tell my poor mother that right now is at home praying for 5,000 naira and God will tell you she will not be like that in death God has beautified my life God has brought me honor and glory God has done things in my life today that no matter how silent I want to become, I am broken and forced to go down on my knees. The prayer department prayed on Tuesday and their entire prayer 
was for the favor of God listen 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 when you see God revealing something it is because that is what he wants to do in this season God sees my heart and God knows how I have prayed that this grace will come on everybody if possible God can lift you there is space for everybody it is not God's will for one person or a few people to rise there when others still are there struggling financially struggling in in an area no no God can lift everybody together and still be glorified he has already captured your heart so there is no point being afraid the blessings will not kill you there is nothing God has put in my life today that can take his place so don't let anybody lie to you oh I'm afraid if you rise you will not love God is a lie it is not his blessings that take his place in your life it is carnality are we together I'm praying now standing here listen are many people some of you as you are standing here you represent families that are desperately you don't need breakthrough you need lifting lifting takes you out of the realm breakthrough you are still there it's just that you prosper in that realm lifting takes you out of that realm in a way that you are looked at like the hebrew boys were lifted out of fire and you would never know they were once there like daniel was lifted out of the pit like jesus was resurrected out of the grave like joseph was taken out of the dungeon that's not breakthrough that's lifting I believe in Jesus I believe in his power and I believe that in this season that which he has shown me it is my prayer I can't assume everybody wants to be lifted because there are believers who are very careless the Bible says believe in the Lord your God it says so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper there is a dimension of lifting that if you open up your heart and receive brothers and sisters let me tell you my god this is no long this is not your god my god will surprise you and do something in your life i'm not asking you whether you are walking no there, there are sermons that i'll ask you are you walking let me bless the work of your hands that's not what i'm doing today it has nothing to do with whether you are walking listen it has nothing to do with whether you are in school or not it has nothing to do with which village there are times that i can say oh lift your certificate i teach value i don't teach irresponsibility but this one is not just principles god has chosen it's a choice the king said what shall be done hey, Jimmy? what shall be done i look at my life today and i look at certain things god has done and i say if i walked this thing by my way for god's sake who is who is who, who dash monkey banana where will it come from only a man who has tasted of something can release something to you nobody can give what he doesn't have please hear me family of god i want you to believe in this prayer i'm about to pray it's not by kneeling down is by opening your heart to believe and say lord i know there is a realm there is a dimension where you can lift men and if you have revealed this oh god please let it happen to me are we together i'm about to pray for you my beautifier sing that song once twice for me sir my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make my life so beautiful my beautifier you have taken away the taking away the shame just like you. My beautifier, my beautifier.
Taking away, taking away the shame, taking away the pain, taking away the pain. Make my life so beautiful, my life so beautiful. My beautiful. I pray for you that the God the God who met me as a total nobody and by his finger I am a testimony of the mercies of God of the grace of God I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prophecy that is upon me tonight I decree and declare that the grace for sudden lifting sudden lifting the word is sudden sudden lifting in the name of jesus christ may that grace come upon you right now sudden lifting sudden lifting in ministry sudden lifting in ministry sudden lifting in business sudden lifting in your finances I command sudden lifting inexplainable lifting strange lifting in the name of Jesus in your spiritual life the dimensions of anointing that you have never seen in the name of Jesus as I stretch my hands may those dimensions be activated now be activated now whether it is the prophetic whether it is the apostolic whether it is the healing dimension whether it is visions whether it is dreams I command an activation of those dimensions now I pray for you the grace for speed I tell you that there is an anointing that is about to push you is a force to move you to the next seasons of your life I release that grace upon you now whether you are inside overflow one overflow two overflow three online I prophesy May that grace move you to the next dimension of your life. May that grace move you to the next dimension. I want to pray for supernatural finances. Listen. There is wealth that is gotten by exchanging for value. There is wealth that is gotten by being rewarded for transforming people. But there is the sovereign dimension of wealth. Wealth by the mouth of God. Are we together? There is, do your business, do whatever it is that you are doing. Impact lives. Tomorrow someone will bless you. But this dimension of wealth. Many of you have had testimonies. Don't sit down and be watching people. It does not discriminate. It's a grace. It doesn't discriminate anything. I want to pray because the truth of the matter, honestly, for many of us here, the major areas of concern is finance. By the grace of God and by the, the privilege of his hand, 
I know the quality of the training that you are receiving here. And I testify for many of us that we love God. I'm not in doubt of your love for God. I know that many of us serve God with all our heart. Are we together? But brothers and sisters, what good is it when you serve God with your whole life and you cannot pay the school fees of your children and you sit down? I spoke with a dear lady who almost brought tears out of my eyes. She had gotten admission five times, born again, wasn't living a wayward life, no sleeping around, no nothing. Five times! But just because of a meager amount of a school fees, nobody could help her. That's how that admission kept kept going that lady her colleagues are graduates now and the lady is there and you know we in church we will look at that lady now if she goes to enter a lifestyle somewhere and starts maybe doing some things that she should not do it's easy to point fingers and say you are a stupid girl never condemn people if you cannot supply the alternative are we together when that lady spoke to me tears almost came out of my eyes i said what if this was my biological daughter five years her colleagues were now rounding up and that poor girl imagine the stigmatization on her reputation and she loves god imagine who god is to that lady she will carry five admission letters and put and read the scripture that says i was young now i am old and say god it doesn't add up and she will come to us men of god and say don't worry just focus on your spiritual life no sir no sir no sir everything but that pertains unto life and godliness not godliness alone life i know that many of us here right now is financial issues and let me tell you i will be wicked as a man of god you've heard me say this we're rounding up i have food in my house but do you a good shepherd lays down his life are we together i have a vehicle that would take me home i can put on a generator when there is no light and be worshiping god all through the night can you a good shepherd is not comfortable in his own blessing alone until you are blessed i am a failure it doesn't matter who does what if people are calling me and sending seeds into my life my account if that is not happening to you then i should not rest i don't want to make the mistake of esther she went to the palace and forgot she was once a villager and allowed the jews to be suffering and did not know that god took her there for such a time Mordecai said, don't you think? Continue to enjoy in the palace and leave us suffering. Don't you think that when they are done with us, they will not come for you? I have to pray for you. I counsel people all the time. After service now, I'm going to be waiting for hours and hours talking to people. Families that have no business divorcing, but the devil use financial issues. Some of you right now, some of you may be students, but you are fending for yourself. And yet we have the gods to tell you, don't follow any man. Don't follow any woman. No sugar mommy. No sugar daddy. No sugar everything. Yet we don't have the grace to pray that God will open up doors for you. No, we must fear God. We must stop misrepresenting God. I will be very vocal about your welfare. And let me tell you, until God blesses you, I will not rest. I don't only want you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't just want you to have mysteries you cannot demonstrate with your life. And you keep pride in mysteries, mysteries. No. I want those who don't have jobs to have jobs. You can still serve God with a job. I want people who, I mean, there has to be an evidence. Hallelujah. There are many of our precious people now. So many weddings on the line. And I have the privilege to counsel all those people. And sometimes I look at them and I know that they need a miracle and they need one fast. They need the lifting of God. Imagine this, our little children right now. We have so many children in this ministry who love God with their heart and are passionate. But simply because in the whole family, nobody is lifted. Look how wicked Satan can be. A family of 25 people 
all loving God, but there's nobody. They live from hand to mouth. If they eat on Monday, they are not sure what will come on Tuesday. And yet, I can leave food in my house and a nice car with, an, with AC outside and be wearing a nice cloth and have the effrontery to forget about you. I fear God more than that. If it was good and God gave it to me, then it's good for you too. Are we together? If God put something in my hand and he didn't take my heart from him, then he can put something in your heart. There are some of you, we cannot even come and visit you because your condition, you will get into debt to try to refresh us. And it's not good. Just because of the honor you have, you will go somewhere and borrow money just to honor the man of God. You want to go and pray, the needs arise. There are house rent issues right now. There are school fees issues right now. And then the devil comes with a, somebody with an option. You would think you will not say yes until the pressure squeezes you. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my King, I have cried to you in the secret. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You have told me every time I pray, you hear me. I cry to you from the depth of my spirit. Lift everyone here financially in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy from the depth of my spirit that the hand of God that can change someone's financial destiny overnight, may that hand come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has beautified my life. I pray for you everything that looks like shame you, you, you see me you see me shedding tears My God, I pray. I pray for every single one here. Lord, it is true that you can lift men. I cry unto you, O oh God. I cry unto you, O oh God. Please lift everybody here financially in the name of Jesus. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice. It's calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. Forget about my crying. My tears are also praying for you. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray there are spiritual dimensions that you brought me into not because of my prayer life not because of fasting your hand came upon me and you lifted me lord i bow my knees to you now may that portal in the spirit that is opened over men in the name of jesus i stretch my hands drink of that wine drink of that wine inside overflow one overflow two overflow three online let that fire that he put upon my life let the eyes of the eagle the eyes that see be patient we're rounding up the eyes of the let there be a strange lifting in your spiritual life fresh anointing to heal fresh grace to prophesy restoration of dreams visions dimensions in the spirit everyone here trusting God for the lifting in the area of job and career I cry to my God and I pray that between now and the end of May let there be a strange testimony in your life let there be a strange testimony in your life I pray for every business represented here. I decree and declare whatever has kept it at the same level in the name of Jesus Christ. May the God of heaven arise and grant that business supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every family represented here whatever represents shame whatever represents reproach i bow my knees to my father and my god and i decree and declare may that reproach be rolled away like a curtain in the name of jesus christ i pray for all final year students and all the institutions that are writing exams were rounding up i stretch my hands for those in probation third class two two by this grace of lifting i shoot you to a new level in the name of jesus a dimension of intelligence that you have never seen in your academics i release that grace upon you right now there is there is a lady um one of these ladies of incomparable incomparable very fair you are light-skinned i don't know her name they used to come and greet me sometimes very fair light skin incomparable this incomparable beauty crew where are they come now the lord wants to end captivity in your family mama the lord is telling me that i should tell you that he will reward you greatly he will reward you greatly. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. He will reward you. I need to pray for you. Your family is under serious demonic attack. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where are you from? Benway State. Sir. Eh? Benway State. Benway State. Come. This is this is the spirit of death. No, no, step down. This is the spirit of death, and we must pray and take authority over it.
Father, I curse that spirit now. Go! By the power of the Holy Spirit. On your life and that of your family members. In the name that is above all names. I command that attack to come to an end. And God wants a deeper relationship. Look at me. God wants a deeper relationship with you. He says I should tell you. That you need to give him time. And you need to commit yourself passionately to the things of God. So, Mama, let me pray for you. It's not just because of old age. Your eye issue is not just because of old age. This is a demonic thing. That's why God identified you even with the glasses. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone came from Kano. 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 Someone came in from Kano. You are the only person from Kano. Kano. This is a family. Oh, this is not just one person I'm talking about. Please. Ah, this is a family. You are not the only one that came. In the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for you. That the God of heaven. Do you have a daughter, Mama? Where is she? She's in Abuja. She's in Abuja? Yes. Is she married? Yes. I have two daughters. The first one. The first one, she's married. Have you heard from her? Yes. She's doing well. She's fine. You think so? But she's looking for a job. We have to pray for her okay. because I'm seeing a problem with her marriage. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let Mama have no reason to cry because of what is happening to her children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Mama, the Lord is renewing your strength. The back pain you used to have in the morning is gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kano, is there a family that came from Kano? A family. I know individuals came, but is there at least more than one person? Because this I'm seeing like a family. All of you came from Kano. I don't mean you are based there. You traveled from there to here. Well, I'll pray for you, but this is... seen a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. But let me pray for you. Come. We have to pray. Look at me. That the, so that the devil will not kill your potentials. I'm seeing books and I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. This is what I'm seeing. Books. And I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. I declare the opening of the gates of destiny for you. See, let me tell you tonight. If things are not going right, don't pretend they are going right. Fight it out here. We are, going, are you getting what I'm saying? Please. This is why God prepared this meeting. Don't come and waste your time. The Lord specifically kept speaking to me. That tonight is dedicated for families. No matter how you are doing well. If your family is not doing well. You are not fine. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't let anybody just distract you. And make it look like you are wasting your time. Hallelujah. Ella come let me pray for you. So that your mother will not be told that she's sick. Lord I destroy any yoke of sickness. Over her mom's life. In the name of Jesus this lady, you that tied something forward. No, no, no. This one. Yes, come. Come, come, come. Please let me pray for you. Is it Gozier or Chi Gozier? Something that has, it's like an Igbo name. It has Gozier in it. I know there's I.E. Gozier or something like that. Is there anyone like that? Whether, I don't know if it's your name or son name or something. But I'm seeing a gozier. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. And he's saying he's bringing restoration to your family. In the name of Jesus. He's bringing restoration to your family. He's bringing restoration to your family. What's your name? Eh? Anozie. Okay, I saw something gozier. Okay, come, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from? Mina. Mina, 
all the way from Mina. Yes. What do you do? I'm a master student. Mm. Let me pray for you. There are doors that the Lord wants to open for you. But it will have to be by prophecy. It will not just open like that. Father, let those doors be open right now. By the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that those doors of limitations are open right now for you. In the name of Jesus. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. 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 Is that your name? You are Jennifer. No. This is not just this Jennifer. I will talk to you, but Jenny, anybody, other person with the name Jennifer? You are Jennifer. Who else is Jennifer? Not a name you know alone. A name that everybody knows you as Jennifer. Please don't just stand up and come carelessly. Think about what we're saying. Who is Je You're all Jennifer. Who is from Kaduna? You are from Kaduna? I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your stomach. There will be no death in your families. The sound of death will not be heard. Out! That devil of death. You will leave her family right now because I'm seeing that there would have been a lamentation August 7th but in the name of Jesus we cancel it by the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit there will be no death 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 in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for you the Lord is bringing healing healing to somebody in your family healing to someone in your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your mother is from Kaduna your mom is from Kaduna who is from Kataf, Zango Kataf your mother is from Zango Kataf let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ Father I pray that the limitation over this family be lifted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Adam, is it Adamu? Adamu? There is Adamu. I don't know if it's your name. Son name Adamu. Adamu. Your name is Adamu. Your son name. Yes, Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are Kogi State. Kogi State. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from yes. now? A mantle. A mantle. You love God very well. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. If God tells you he wants to use you, will you allow him to use you? Yes, sir. Because there are so many things God wants to do in and through your life. I hear in my spirit, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord says I should tell you, that I will do mighty things in and through you. For the stone that was rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord brings a visitation to your life. You will go through series of spiritual experiences. Father, let there be a birthing. Hold my hands. Change him, oh God. The first thing that will happen to you is a circumcision. The pruning of the old. I cast the spirit that stops you from walking with God. Let it leave now. For he will not pour new wine in an old wine skin. I cast that spirit. Give way for the king to come into his life. Please bring him up. Lord. Let the prophetic teaching anointing come upon him. Make him a mighty man. Put a hunger and a desire in his heart for your word. In 
the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Outside, there is somebody I want to speak to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord outside towards the extreme back. The power of God is going to come upon one person there mightily. Please let the ushers bring the person. I need to speak to the person. Outside, towards the back, towards the end part, the power of God will come mightily and strong upon one person there. For I will make you like Deborah said the Spirit of God. I will make you a mighty warrior said the Spirit of God. Today I lift away from your life the distractions. Distractions. The Lord is taking away distractions from your life. Distractions. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and run with perseverance the race hallelujah stand behind her i'm seeing the power of god coming on her i don't know what it is for but the anointing of the spirit is coming strong upon her there is something god is taking out of her family no the usher not even the lady you usher god is taking away something out of your life Hallelujah. Emmanuel, come. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. Darkness from your family. It must roll away now. It's lifting darkness from your family. Amaka and Adora, come. Come quickly, quickly. The Spirit of the Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. The feast of new things. Hold hands together. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. Ah, He will wipe away that which is of the old. And he will bring you into the new. The Lord says I should tell you the feast of new things. I am doing a feast of new things. Bringing into your life a feast of new things. A feast of new things. The anointing of the spirit will make this happen. Let it flow to you right now. And change you. Change you. Change you. Change you. 
Your father is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Please, where is the person? In Zaria here, not outside of Zaria. A police officer in Zaria here. the Lord with all your heart and the Lord will use you but there are many things that need to be pruned there are distractions in your life distractions your name is Emmanuel and it means God is with you there are distractions little things sway you your life is too emotional to walk with God. You need stability. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I impart upon you strength in your spirit, man. Strength. Take it now. The strength of the spirit. It will come upon you strongly. I've laid hands on you. You will never be able to be weak and dwindle around again. Mercy Tila, come quickly. There are weights that must be broken. The Spirit of God says, Weights, weights, they must be broken. Weights, they must be broken. Cares and weights and worries. Cast your cares before the Lord because the Lord wants to do great things in your life, but there are weights. Wait, wait. There are weights. Oh God, may those weights give way right now. In the name of Jesus. Ken, an angel is standing close to you. And I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying, Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Lord, let that oil be poured upon him for his family. The Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Again, I will visit your family. And this time around, it will be with power. Again, I will visit your family. My dear, may the Lord anoint you. It's an anointing that is coming upon you. May the Lord anoint you. You are weak in the spirit. I strengthen you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child.
What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this this is a baby. It's not even somebody as old as this. This is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick. I don't know if it's inside or outside. The Lord wants to heal that person. Go dear. Go dear. Go dear. Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam. I will, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for his son. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. do something to your spirit is an awakening that is happening to you it's an awakening I break the chains of limitation over you now I cause those chains I set them on fire in the name that is above all names may those chains be broken and I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in Oshri? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire, it's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. 
kill that appetite oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus let that be everything that does not name the name of Christ may it leave come this gentleman you it's time to respond to the dream you had come these are wicked forces of darkness tying your life and your destiny down with delay Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that, had, that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last person and then we'll just come, my dear, this lady. No, yes, come. You now, yes. Let no man despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. Let no one despise you. Let no one despise you for out of you will come a treasure the Lord says I should tell you there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels that the excellency power may be of God and not of God. come hold my hands there is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today that will make you uncommon uncommon distinguished for you love the Lord with your whole heart You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. Turn to your neighbor and say, Are you still here? I just want to charge us a bit. Welcome everybody, all those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from birth, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful. To ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Who seen Peter and John. Follow me closely. About to go into the temple. Asked an arm. And Peter fastened, fastening his eyes upon him. With John said. Look on us. And this is the key verse. Verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. And he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something expecting to receive something when he said look on us they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something as I began to pray and say Lord what would I share with your people the Lord said the only thing I need from them is expectation 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 is a proof of faith expectation is a proof that you trust God hallelujah if you if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something is that true and so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you the only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you'll be expectant expect that sickness to leave your body expect that family captivity to come to an end expect the lord to visit you expect to step into new levels of the anointing expect that no matter what the challenge is the power of god can step into your life it does not take time it only takes the spirit of god 
For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is not, there is no liberty. I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight. And the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant. Expectant. Lord, I expect to be healed. I expect that you will wipe my tears. I expect that this situation in my life will change at once. I expect it. I expect it. Do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. Right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant. That's the only message the Lord asked me to give us tonight. Expectation. Expectation. Expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered. Expect that that which you came down. See, don't look at the situation. Just be expectant. Be expectant. The greatest enemy to expectation is your past, your history, your track record of failure, your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God. So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before, but I fasted before. It says, forgetting the things that are behind. Forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday, I press. Everyone say, I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Just for two to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God. And say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. hallelujah in one minute mention everything you came with as a challenge and say lord the time has come for your grace and your power
Caparada balada baka prende get a bella de bo. Saprando brati se tele bakaria da balada bako prondo soto brani shivara. Shembrata kaparata tata balada bakaria da balada bako. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom, my Father, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom, shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, shalom. Sing it two more times. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. Jehovah. Lift up your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We are starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three. Just those individuals. One, two, three. Now, now, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. That breaker anointing. I release it right now. Right now, right now, right now. All the ones separated for breakthroughs right now. Inside and outside, I release that breakthrough anointing. That breakthrough anointing right now. That breakthrough anointing right now. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. It comes like a mighty rushing wind. The breakthrough anointing, the breakthrough unction. Enough of that level, enough of that dimension. I speak it, I declare it, I prophesy it, and I release it. Take it from your belly, out of your belly. Let it gush like living waters. Out of your belly, that breaker anointing. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly. That breaker anointing, breakthroughs, 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 breakthroughs. I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle. Right now, Shaka Baba 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 
Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said for out of your belly. Something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly. Just keep your hands there. Father in the name of Jesus. Where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly. Let it flow. Let it flow. Living waters. Living waters. Living waters. New dimensions. Living waters. Skatata kapata. Rekete tekete. Bekata taboskata. Embrata kata. Shekete lekes. From your innermost being. From your innermost being. From your innermost being. From your innermost being. A busting thought of new wine. A busting thought of new wine. A busting thought of new wine. A busting thought. Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakadia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You are prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord I pray. Wherever they are right now. By the light of the spirit. My father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit. By the light of God. I put it in your spirit. By the light of God. I put it in your spirit. By the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. Saying this is the way. You will hear that voice. Saying this is the strategy. You will hear that voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The Lord wants to destroy marital delay. This is what is happening right now. Marital, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that. But the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. I release you. I release your family. I release your sisters. That power that has held your marital destiny. Hear the voice of the Lord. That power that has stopped marriage in your family. I speak in the name of Jesus. Be loose right now. 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 Hallelujah. 
Now, lift your hands. I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit. And so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness. 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 There is someone who came here with that situation. I don't know if it's a couple or somebody. You are expecting a miracle desperately. Let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now. But we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands. Let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courier and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is leaving because there is no child. But are you still in touch? The church tried to call her, she didn't answer, so I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. She's I need to pray for you. May God she bless does. you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. Ogasa, do you believe your wife will come back? Yes, sir. You want her back? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Your wife will return back. Amen. Forget about what has happened. God will give you two boys, two girls. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. love God not only that what do you do I work in an electronics company Samsung so when we had this issue of this marriage they have to let go of me but I have my own personal business in Kaduna which I, know. I God established is helping you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life you've lost money you've lost a lot of people even cars because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed what is like things are going down the Lord is going to restore you. Amen. You believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined, the Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka Protoso Pratiya. I release your destiny right now in the name of Jesus I call forth your wife into your life and I open the fountains of fruitfulness the Lord showed me two boys two girls and I release them to your life this power that has tied you down and tied your family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that it is released right now in the name of Jesus I'm holding your hands and with these hands may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ friend come 
Where are you from? Kaduna too? Zaria. Yeah. Zaria, yeah. You came alone? Yes. No, I came with a friend. What would you want the Lord to do in your life? Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough? Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health in yes. your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. It says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit, but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness where are those people who barrenness have held their lives where are those people in the name of Jesus let fire come upon you now let fire come upon you now I destroy the hold of barrenness everywhere in this building I break the chains of barrenness I break the chains of barrenness I break the chains of barrenness. I break the chains of barrenness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front back to the front back to the front there is no hiding back to the front there are many people in this room i break it right now i break it right now right now to the back from the back to the front 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness shake it, 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 it. Right to the back in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils when the spiritual limitation is taken away then your life will move forward what will happen tonight is not just for you but for every family you represent so there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered not just for themselves but for their families and the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit 
every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will leave at the count of three now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of God's people in the name of Jesus bring them out in the name of Jesus I cost those powers I cost those powers I cost those powers I cost those powers, those powers. hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives keep those hands lifted Lord where are those people let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother. Because with one sister, there are many people that can become victims. Not because of immorality or anything. It's just the nature, the compelling character of women. I pray right now. Anyone here, whether you know it or not, that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Come upon that spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains 
march to the front now for prayer inside and outside it's time to pray for the sick instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes worship team help us while that is happening if you've not written your prayer request do that quickly and in case you think you need to add something to it please don't stop playing while you are seated here the power of God is visiting you so be in the spirit inside and outside no matter how far you are connect in the spirit you can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests there is a God that answers prayer Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All of you who have come out I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it hallelujah praise the Lord I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now hallelujah we'll be very fast about it Help. just give her a chair hallelujah all of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now he will give us a sign and the sign will be from one of you something will happen to one of you right now and that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now thank you Jesus father let there be miracles I see miracles everywhere be discerning be spiritual Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, this right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. Miracles everywhere.
miracles Talk to him, you'll be interpreting him. Huh? 
Tell him in the name of Jesus. He will walk well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And we Tell him to go. What's this? The medical report. Okay. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. To him, yes, 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 let me tell you something. It's not only settled, I pray for you yes, that not only this will happen, but God will use you to do this. Amen. Same thing. Receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Baba, tell him from today, no witchcraft power no will paralyze and keep him again. I appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, 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 oh.
God. God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise for you. No, don't give up. Don't give up on God. Cause He won't give up. I saw this and it caught my attention. This looks like a medical thing. What's this for? It's supposed to help me stretch my fingers. It's to help you stretch your fingers. Yes, sir. They can't, they are not working. For eight months. Sir. Your hand. Yes, sir. For how long? Eight months. Why? It just uh, after I started playing the guitar. You started playing the guitar. And then playing guitar. Long. Yes, sir. See strips things. He has been playing guitar for as long. His fingers are as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play onto the glory of God. Oh, you, you want play, to play for a club now, this hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. You Hallelujah. That's how he keeps play robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand and Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the Son of the Living God. You're the Son of the Living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. He cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move. Them. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned, you cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise.
your kingdom reigns. Yes, Lord. You are the king. Run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. You're not praying to him, he will run to him. Oh, you say, oh, you say, stop. Now we say it again. If we call to him, he will run to us. Give me the Come now, pray. Oh, the name. of God. Hey, oh, sing for joy through God. Oh, sing for joy. We call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you say it's of God. One time. If we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Oh, sing, oh, sing, God, to God, God. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hail from the day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Go there! 
you heard what the Lord has done. He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing, oh say it. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, oh say it. say it. You don't win no baba. I say yeah. I say yeah. You don't win no. You don't win no. I say yeah. I say yeah. You don't win no. Jesus harder. Jesus, Submit your prayer request. We are going to give God a hot, hot praise as we pray on this. Three to five minutes of hot praise. Dance out every nonsense out of your life. This name was Worship team, are you ready? This name I like that guy. That's ah no no. This name is Tima. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Tima. This name is Tima. Give a lot of dance and a shout of praise. Go! 
Eduardo Said I'll never, 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 never see a tango This tango Say bless with me This tango I never see a typo I never see a typo This can go do To the Lord in the highest. Give the Lord your best dance. Give the Lord your best shout. Give the Lord your best rejoicing. He's worthy. Aha. Uh -huh. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people 
this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny this request threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives we pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ no matter how impossible the situation is oh God I pray that one by one one by one they will come and testify of your goodness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah already for some I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital labor has started for her hallelujah praise the Lord this is a very prophetic moment please everybody inside and outside don't let anyone distract you now lift your hands as we speak hallelujah I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed the power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things please I want you to believe please I want you to believe no matter how far you are inside and outside I want you to believe hallelujah everything that represents limitation in your life everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny I come in the name of the Lord God the Lord God Almighty and I declare that in this month of May may that limitation be lifted up your life may that limitation be lifted up your life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are whatever wrong advice whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. Hallelujah. I pray for you. This is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level. Listen. The Bible says through wisdom a house is built. And by understanding it is established. Through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing. Wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level. And this is not human wisdom. It's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion. Lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. It can be frustrating when you are clueless. You are at 
the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and might the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion hallelujah i pray for you part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities hagar listen hagar was in a place it was a desert but there was water her eyes could not see it. but when the angel of the lord appeared unto her suddenly she saw water i pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of may the anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you i release it upon you now i release it upon you now where men see obstacles may you see opportunities where men see stumbling blocks may you see stepping stones in the name of jesus the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear fear has kept many people from moving forward fear of everything fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when god says move you say i'm afraid start that business i'm afraid take a step to marry i'm afraid do this i'm afraid move on further i'm afraid i pray for you in the name of jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step i cause that fear now i cause that fear now i cause that fear now when they got to the red sea they were afraid and when moses went before the lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust god take the step and die taking it let it be that it was god that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses others may trust in chariots but for us we trust in the name of the lord and everything we do in the name of the lord he said whatsoever you do in word and in deed do it in the name of the lord i pray for you again fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up fear has stopped people from applying in places high places they think they are not qualified fear has stopped many of us fear has stopped you from starting the building project who said you are too young so long as god gives you the signal there are some of us all of us are adults in our house but our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear you have ten thousand go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it here tell the devil i'm coming look let me tell you you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if i perish i perish i pray the boldness 
the audacity the strength the audacity to ride through without exhaustion to ride through without fear i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete leba. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year i declare by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of god's victory i judge the manifestation of death over your life i judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of jesus i pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future i release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers i cause it to his root now in the name of jesus christ i pray for those trusting god for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died i call it back to life in the name of jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation i silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. 
the Bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over I pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth I release it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you in the name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity that is eating up your walk with God you love God but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin I pray for you the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense the grace of God picks you out of that limitation grace to say no to every appearance of evil grace to say no to everything that is ungodly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray a special prayer for our brothers I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility one more time I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus from today I release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the Lord God Almighty will be your defense the Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress in the name of Jesus I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost restoration 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus and I pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the Spirit of God where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful I pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit I command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of God I command a restoration for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I pray for you all through the remaining part of May into June let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you I pray listen listen Samuel had already been ordained I mean Saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find Samuel and they kept searching and he could not find Samuel until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him you can be one anointing away from the next level of your life you can be one prophetic impartation away you can be one destiny helper away I pray again for you whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of Samson of, of Saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of Jesus Christ 
before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life. Wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus, don't sit back. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they will have your details they will welcome you more warmly and then will communicate to you through them god bless you this way draw that baby baby this way no 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 All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin 